It has been a problem for years, but copper theft in Tulsa is still on the rise, and Tulsa police are now trying to crack down on the people behind it. Well, the S Tulsa City Council will discuss an ordinance tonight written by Tulsa police restricting what scrap yards can buy. Two Works for You reporter Micah Hatfield explains who will be affected. The new ordinance would limit the size of copper wiring that people would be able to sell, so basically prohibiting them from selling commercial grade wiring. It will include what's in the city's streetlights, cellular towers, and wiring commonly used by AEP and PSO. Fraley's Recycling buys copper wiring, but says they don't see the larger sizes come through too often from someone other than contractors. Yes, the, the individuals is probably would be more of a red flag, especially if they had a large quantity. If the ordinance passes, people licensed by the Construction Industries Board would still be able to sell copper wiring larger than four gauge, but not someone off the street. Bruce Shive says they will crack down if the ordinance passes at Fraley's Recycling because they don't play when it comes to buying stolen material. You can tell they always got some kind of a story, you know, and so, you know, just steer clear. The ordinance will require pictures of any copper wiring the scrapyard buys and a copy of the seller's government issued ID. Shive says they collect that information already. Plus, they have cameras that monitor the scales weighing the material. With the documentations and everything that we have, it'd be easy to catch them. Shive thinks it could cut down on the theft unless the seller goes to a scrapyard outside of Tulsa. If we have to do it, I think they all should do it. In North Tulsa, Micah Hatfield, Two Works for You. City councilors are expected to vote on that measure tonight, and we will let you know what happens with it.